One, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman wicked, but in vain. At this time, we're going to call the evangelist Diana McClemmy to lead us in prayer. Baptist Church for 55 years. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand. Some churches haven't last six months, but they've been celebrating and we are helping them to celebrate today 55 years. That's a long time. Amen. So at this time, we're getting ready to uh, go into the service. We want to ask Sister Mitchell to come and introduce our mistress of ceremony at this time. Say amen for her. Amen. 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 Now, you're not okay. What you go down this step right now? And a gun to God. 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 She's been a member of this church for many years. We love her. She's a child of God. But don't 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 mistake her. She, well, she will put you in her place. As long as in the word of God, we accept the words that come out of her mouth, as long as in the love of God. She's been here for many years, and we'd like to thank her for being here. She had her ups and downs from her health and everything, and she, you know, was out for a while. But the Lord saw fit that he brought her back into the house. This house, where she belonged. We love her. And I introduce to you, Mr. Frost Myers. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. you on the Listen to this lady too. 
Because we know it's a formality. But I want you to listen to what she's going to tell you. Because this church, I've been knowing a long time. Some people get up and say, welcome address. It's just from the mouth. This from her heart. Praise the Lord, we know her. At least I do. Been here a long time with her. So the next person you will hear from is Sister Evelyn Govan. She's going to bring you the welcome address. And she means what she says. Praise the Lord, everybody.
we're joining in with Amen, my cuz and second unit. Then we thank God for being a part of the service. And the reason why I tell y'all to come up here because if we want to get this. This is going to go down in history, amen, amen. and it's going to be taped. Amen, amen. And you'll be able to get your DVD. Our cameraman back there that tapes our services. Amen. 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 You can get your DVD. But then, if you don't want to buy a DVD, just go to YouTube uh, by, by Monday or Tuesday and pop it up. Amen. The name of the church and everything. And you'll see yourself. And everybody's in here, so y'all better be smiling and looking good. <laughs> go on, girl. At this time, we're going to call Amen Evangelist Fountain to sing a solo on the behalf of Shabbat Evangelistic Deliverance Temple. Amen. We're part of this worship service, too. And we just want to say to Second Unity, thank you amen. for allowing us to use your facility. Amen. And thank you, cuz. Amen. 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 And all of Second Unity, we appreciate you all. Amen. And we try to keep it clean. Amen. If they don't keep it clean, I keep it clean. Amen. Because, amen, I'm responsible. Because if something happens, y'all ain't going to look at them. Y'all going to look at me. Amen. So I make sure it's clean. Make sure stuff is in order and all of that. Because y'all gave me the charge, right? Okay. So, hey, amen. I know how to do all that. And I, I ain't too proud to empty the garbage. I ain't too proud to wash the toilets. And I've done all of that in the church. I've been a deacon all the way up to where I am now. So I ain't too proud, hey, amen, to do what God has called me to do. At this time, Evangelist Fountain is coming, and I want her to sing, It Is Well with my soul. Let's say amen for her as she can. Churches coming as one as mommy as when I was small when all the ch or three churches come together mommy was small when all the churches would come together you know and so I thank the Lord for being here Amen.
come to praise the Lord on today. We come to celebrate with Second Unity for 55 years. They've been holding the rain. And so we come to give God the glory. At this time, we call him for the deacons of Second Unity. Nazareth. Say amen for them. Lord, we ask that you bless the second and yes, sometimes sir. maybe the third one. Yes, sir. Just continue to shower your blessings down on us, Lord. Yeah. Keep us mindful, Lord, that you got all by yourself. Oh. Thank you for sitting high, Lord, but we thank you for looking yes, up. Sir. But that's where you got most of us from, Father God. Stay with us and keep us. Guide us as we carry out this service. Yes, sir. Bless all the ministers on the roster. Yes, sir. Bless the one that's going to deliver the word. Yes, sir. And let it increase with power and precision. Please, that it may enlighten our hearts, Father God, that we may go out these doors where our light shines better than it was when we came in. We just thank you for all that's here now. Bless their homes, their loved ones. And Lord, just bless those that have no desire, that don't know you, don't have no God on this side. So we ask in these blessings with your name of thanksgiving. Jesus, you brought me all the way. You planted my burdens every day. Such a wonderful Savior, I never know you to fail us. You brought me. Oh, oh, oh. 
thank God for these deacons. I like to see deacons, amen, get the church fired up. That's what deacons supposed to do. They get the church fired up. So the following thing. Okay. I ain't scared of So don't y'all push me. That's all I can say. Amen. I ain't scared of Amen. We, we got a preacher in the house today. Amen. So he's going to have to do his work. Amen. We thank God. So, amen. Let us stand at this time for the pulpit devotion. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. We're getting ready now. <clears throat> To have the church history. Amen, amen. And I want to speak to, first of all, the young ones in this church. Amen. This is a small building. But it's a big hearts in this church. Amen. 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 Yes. And that's what counts. Amen. If you listen to the history of this church, you learn a lot. Because yeah. God said it, I didn't say it. Where one or two is gathered in my name, there he'll be. And I want you to listen to this. What Sister Sherrod is going to read to you. And I want to say one more thing. That is, with you children going to school, it's bad out here now. Amen, amen, amen. Very bad. Yeah. I won't tell my age, but I went through a lot, but not like you children. The road might be rough yeah. and rock, but God is in the middle. Amen. And when he send you out, I want all of you all to listen. He got your back. Amen. And that's the way it was with this church. God sent us in here, we didn't give up, and God got our back. Amen. And please, listen to Sherrod, you'll see what I mean. Ready, Sister Queen? Amen. Amen. Yes. 
these ladies that are here. My cousin, stand up cuz. 45 years she's been in this church. Amen. Stand up sister, queen. Over 50 years, one of the original members in this church. Save us 50 years. 40 years, I believe it is. 20 years. These ladies have helped hold up the rain. Let's give them a hand for holding up the rain. The second unit there, that's in It keeps on leaving. 
scared of nothing All right. because they trained me up from a child. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's from a child. And I thank God for them older saints. That's right. Amen. You know, right. even though you know my story, I got out in the street, but because of my training here at Second Unity, I came back. Amen. Amen. Because they trained us up as a child. Yeah. And I remember the first time we was doing it, we was all scared yes. and nervous. Amen. But yes. after a couple of years, look, I was ready. Hello. That's, I was, That's right. And I got so bold where I didn't need the paper to slip no more. Amen. I studied mine, Miss Dunn made it. She, yeah. gave it. she gave it to me. I said, I don't need no help. I'm cool. But I didn't know that God was going to call me Amen. to preach. Right. Not only was he going to call me to preach, but call me to this church. Uh -huh. church. So I, I, I thank God for second unity because yeah. without second unity, I probably wouldn't be here. Amen. 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 Right? Amen. And without second Nazareth, I know I wouldn't have been here. Amen. 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 I know that. Because where other preachers say, oh no, God ain't called you because you do this, you do that. But this man right here mm -hmm. saw what was inside of me. Amen. And I realized that, you remember, um, this is, no, nah, I ain't gonna tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> but we as people, as Christians, must stop thinking that we are better Amen. than your brother Amen. or your sister. Yes, 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 yes. We all has fallen short. Yes, yes. And I told him this morning that I don't serve no God of no second chance. Because I used my second chance of 35 years ago. I serve a God of another chance. And every time I mess up, the blood is there to cover me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 So, so I thank God for 
second unity, and I also thank God for second Nazareth. And I know that when I was there, you didn't go out on the fourth Sunday because it was our music. I don't know if y'all changed or y'all made a special thing for me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> That until um, you told me, said it's the communal side. I said, that's right. They don't come out on communal side. And they was here before we started our communal service. Amen. And I want to thank y'all. I want to thank Second Nashville because truly, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be here because this is the only man who put up with me. Right. Right. Put up with me and, and, and gave me um, a license to preach. Amen. And, um, Um, I, I I got a cousin right here. I ain't gonna get into him. But he kind of, you know, you have people in your family that kind of strange. <laughs> I didn't say kind of strange, but I couldn't have a uh, second unity first anniversary without extending the invitation to him first, and that because he gave me a chance when nobody else would gave me a chance. And before I do anything, I, you know, I, I asked him, and um, I was telling him, Pastor, that I put had another preacher to come preach this morning. And every time I call him or try to get word to him, he always told me I check my book. I asked him Thursday, he said, I got to check my book. So I said, okay, then you don't want to come to Second Unity. I said, that's fine. I get somebody else. But... Where is um where your wife at? Right there. Where's your hand, wife? <laughs> How many times you called me to make sure? Over and over. Pastor called me, said, Did um what's one Debbie? Okay. Then Debbie called me. After she called me, he making sure that she called me. Right. That she got in right. touch with me. Right. He backed him up. That's and that's that's a that's a friend. That is a friend. And that's a father for you. And, and, and anytime I ask him for anything, uh, all right, man, I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> when he, he calls me up and says, Doc, I just called to talk to you, see what's going on with you. And that's the true friend. We might don't see each other every day or talk to each other every day, but when you need a friend, he's there. And I tell folks, I tell folks this all the time. It's better to uh, have Jesus when you need him. When you need him, you don't have him. Amen. So I want to introduce to my friend, my, my father in the gospel. All right now. Pastor Joe L. Howley. And then second that um, second um, unity. Y'all see where I get my craziness from. <laughs> Amen. So after the choir come, I had asked um, the, them to do cooling water, but somebody told me, y'all don't know that no more. Y'all don't know cooling water no more. Y'all don't say cooling water. That made the top ten pop chart, didn't it? That's the chart. Okay, the choir going to come and give us a selection, and the next voice you hear will be that of my father, my friend. Dr. Joel Howe. Everybody say amen. Amen.
Six years. Tall in his snap. God had to be in charge. Let me give you a passage of scripture when you get home, you read it, and then next week you preach it. Found in the gospel of St. John chapter 6. Amen, amen. Uh, verse 66, 67, and 68. And you find these words recorded. From that time, many of the disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered and said, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou has the words of eternal life. That's the reading of God's word. I think that is fitting for this occasion when we come to celebrate 56 years. So now what I need you to do now, uh, second unity, is look beside you on your right. And then the words has already been uttered and said, Neighbor, we are still here. Now, now look on the right. Look on the right. Look on. We don't want to slight nobody. It's a neighbor. It wasn't easy, but we are still here. Yeah, I, 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 that's all I want to talk about. That's for a few minutes. That, 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 that we are still here. Now, 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 after we have unsaid it and uh, and, and everybody understand, I, I just want to stop by to tell you that you need to give God some thanks. You, you didn't get here on your own. Yeah, yeah, nobody in here been here uh, 56 years. Close to it, but not. When you got here, it was already here. Right. So what happened? Uh, you you just inherited uh, what those other the Pedro has uh, 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 set uh, their part and and left here on record for you and I. God knew that on this day that 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 second unity and second Nazareth would come and the other church uh, that is uh, in here with us, yeah. that we would be on. Uh, you, you don't surprise God. That's right. Oh, that's right. No, no, no. He, he knew it before he dug, scooped out the seed with the palm of his hand. That's right. He knew this day was coming. Yeah. So we just come just to say thank you, Lord. Yeah, right. yeah there, 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 there was some that if the, the record would be uh, uh, told that, that started out with you uh, 56 years ago. They, they are not here. They, they, they did like uh, the disciples did Jesus. You, you know the story. There, there was some of the disciples. Uh, that, and somebody said it was the 12 disciples. But let me set the record straight. It was more than 12. Because it was only 12 that Jesus picked. And, and there was another group that was John the Baptist uh, disciples. Uh, and that was the one that walked off from Jesus and walked with him no more. For the word said uh, that Jesus looked at his trail after the boys had left and said, Will you go away too? Uh huh. That's right. Get your boat. 
Come on, preacher. Look at him and say, sir, well, where can we go that we, we know that you you have eternal life? So where can we go? That, so so I, I, I start by to tell you that, that, that you are still here. Those that fell, went away, uh, and came back. Uh, and, 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 no, no, wait, let me pause there. Let me set the record straight. There are some that went and left and came back. Didn't they fail? Oh, yes. <laughs> let, 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 just, just gave his testimony uh, down on the floor where he got started. He went away. But he came back. Yes, he did. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. So why, why, why should things on go away and then uh, come back? Well, maybe God had to get him out of here just for a season. Then bring him back to tell the story. Yes, yes, yes. yes but if you look at the text, uh, you are still uh, here. So he needs to give God uh, some thanks. Amen. For he didn't have to do it, uh, but uh, he did. For, for you will find John's gospel uh, was not like uh, all of the rest uh, of the gospels. Uh, uh, there, 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 John's gospels was a little different uh, from uh, the other gospels. Uh, yes, you find uh, John didn't care uh, to talk about a lot of things. Uh, although John didn't consider himself uh, being better uh, than the rest, uh, but, but, but he does take a different approach uh, uh, to the, the, the recording uh, of the life uh, of Jesus Christ uh, and, and what he was uh, and what he said. Uh, it was the other disciples uh, that brings to us uh, a more uh, 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 way of looking at uh, the, 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 the birth of Jesus uh, on the human respect. Uh, uh, it was Matthew and Luke. Uh, uh, they, they, they shared with us uh, his earthly uh, heritage. Uh, it was Mark uh, who brings to us uh, his earthly beginning. Uh, but John uh, uh, chose to bring to us uh, the, uh, the life of Jesus uh, uh, in a more spiritual concept. Uh, John didn't bring to us uh, uh, whose son he was. Uh, uh, John uh, was not concerned uh, about the teaching uh, of his background, uh, tracing his background uh, uh, back to the son of David. Uh, no, John didn't care about that. Uh, and he said uh, uh, in the beginning uh, uh, was the word. Uh, so John uh, uh, just took a peek uh, behind the angelic curtains of time uh, and said in the beginning uh, a world the word uh, and the word uh, was God uh, and the word uh, was with God uh, for in the text uh, uh, John uh, uh, talked about uh, a lot of things uh, but he didn't talk about uh, uh, Jesus uh, uh, born in a manger uh, uh, John didn't talk about uh, him wrapped in slaughtering holes. Uh, John didn't care uh, about the shepherd boy or uh, uh, not the angels. Uh, but John uh, uh, just wanted to talk uh, about Jesus uh, and the Son of God. Uh, it was Jesus or uh, him, the Holy Ghost, uh, uh, who came uh, uh, down from the folly uh, and our uh, children. Generations, it was Jesus who shred the wine press out. It was Jesus who suffered as he walked, or just to do good. It was Jesus who had the best cross in the heat of the day. I had to bear a cross, then so do I, and so do you. But Jesus, he didn't do any wrong, but he had to share his cross. No cross, no crown, no cross, no 
salvation, no cross, no eternal life. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. I don't know about you, but I, I came up just to Jesus, just to say my word. A barefooted boy out of the Tar Heels from North Carolina. Give the God his eternal life. 